In this short video, I am going to talk about levels of measurement. The level of measurement is a very important concept to understand because it helps us to analyze the different statistical procedures. In a statistics, there are four levels of measurement, nominal, ordinal, interval and ratio. These scales are further divided into two main categories that is quantitative and qualitative. So as you can see here, nominal and ordinal type of variable are subcategorized under qualitative category and interval and ratio are subcategorized under quantitative category. So let's discuss the definitions and different examples of each levels. The first level of measurement is nominal. These are just name, categories, grouping variables. Uh, we can also call it categorical variable. The essential part of nominal variable is that it does not imply any logical order like names, color, gender, religion, etc. So here I have used uh, two options. The, the examples I have just mentioned, they have no logical order. These are just the responses and categories or groups. So here I have used color and gender. The first example is color and here um, there are different options. There are different names of color, red, green and blue and there is no order. I can write green instead of writing red first and I can write blue instead of writing red first or green first, right? But I have assigned different numbers here because I have to classify the data because these are the qualitative form of data and I, can, I cannot process uh, the data, the qualitative data into SPSS. We have to first codify the data and then we can process and then we can go for f any other analysis. So therefore, I have just uh, used some codes here but the, 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 uh, there is nothing to do with some order. There is no logical order in this example. In another example as you can see gender there are two options. Even in this example there is no logical order. I can write female first and also I can write male uh, first. I, can, I have assigned 1 to male and 2 to female. So I can also assign 2 to male and 1 to female. There is no logical order. These are just the classification of the data. The second level of measurement is ordinal. Now here, we have to follow some order. We have to follow some logical order. It has ordered attributes. For example, education. So in this case, as you can see, I have used three different options, matriculation, intermediate, graduate. So here I'm following some order from lowest education, from lowest qualification to the highest qualification. Matriculation is the lowest, so I have assigned lowest number to it. And graduate is the highest qualification, so I have assigned highest number to it. Uh, in this, in the, in the similar way, uh, an Likert scale, there are five options, strongly disagree to strongly agree. So strongly disagree is the extreme negative option. String, uh, we can say that it is extreme negative response and a strongly agree is an extreme positive response. So um, I have assigned lowest number to extreme negative response and the highest number to extreme positive response. So here also I am following some order. So that is why we can say that this is the example of, this is also the example of ordinal variable. In the last we have interval and ratio levels of measurement. These are the subcategories of quantitative type of data. Basically they both represent the actual numbers. So in SPSS they jointly called as a scale. Um, there is only one difference between interval and ratio. In interval, there is no absolute zero, but in ratio, there is an absolute zero. For example, uh, as you can see, uh, the example of ratio first, weight, height. If the weight is equals to zero, so it means there is an absence of weight. There is no weight. If the height is equals to zero, it means there is no height. It, it's zero. So here, the uh, in ratio, there is an absolute zero. But in interval, if I can say the temperature is zero, what does it mean? Zero on the Celsius scale, the temperature zero on the Celsius scale mean that it is a freezing point. 
so it it has some meaning it does not mean that uh, there is an absence of temperature so therefore we say that uh, ratio has absolute zero an interval has no absolute zero another example of interval is uh, as you can see there are different uh, there are two options there are two examples of interval uh, 30 to 40 degrees and 80 to 90 degrees if i take um, if i take difference of 30 to 40 and 80 to 90 i i will find the same difference right so whenever you use interval variable the different options have same differences the different intervals have same differences thank you